In December of 2019, the Undertale speedrun leaderboards looked something like this. This was back before Seagrass Skip, Mad Dummy Skip, and many other minor optimizations. Shay had the world record, with a time of 55 minutes and 50 seconds. However, today we will not be covering the top runners at the time, but instead we will be looking down the leaderboards a little bit. Today, we will be looking at Bradley0104 and myself, who were 16th and 19th place at the time. This is the story of one of the largest Undertale speedrunning rivalries the game has ever seen. We are, of course, talking about the 57 race. Around September of 2019, I had gotten my first sub-hour time of 59 minutes and 52 seconds. In the description of this run, I stated, Pretty bad, Bradley bops soon. This was what kicked off the rivalry between Bradley and myself. Bradley would improve to his first 58, while I remained with the same PB of 59.52. However, on the 30th of November, I had finally improved my time, all the way down to a 59.10, and I showed no signs of stopping. Two weeks later, I finished a great run for myself at the time, a 58.21. This was my first time having a better PB than Bradley, but he wouldn't let that stay. On the 22nd of December, he put up a huge PB for himself, a 58.05, getting an 11 turn Asgore to save 50 seconds on his PB. At this point, the community had called on a race to see who would be the first of us to get a time in the 57s. Although I didn't beat Bradley's PB, I got a 5807 for myself on Christmas Eve. The description of the run? 57 races on. Bradley and I were now right next to each other on the leaderboards. Nobody knew who would come out victorious in this race. Both Bradley and I would grind out attempts every day to try and beat each other to 57. On the 31st of December, both runners would boot up their streams, giving one last shot to try and get a 57 before the year ended. Both would get on good paces, but only one emerged victorious. Bradley would exit ruins on his 832nd run with a time of 649, a relatively good ruin split. Bradley continued to save time with a gold split in Snowden, putting him 16 seconds ahead of the fabled 58 comparison. However, he would lose a big chunk of this time to sparing Papyrus on the first phase, but due to the good early game, he was still well on pace for a good time, with a BPT of 57.26. Although Bradley would make a few minor errors, he entered Asgore with a BPT of 57.48. A 12 turn would be good enough to get it. Alright, if I hit a quad here, I think he's dead. Let's go, dude, eat him! I oh, 12 you. turn! Yo, go Bradley! Oh. It was a 12 turn. It was good enough. He did his victory lap in Flowey and finished the run with a time of 57.58. After a month of grinding, Bradley was the winner of the 57 race and would forever have bragging rights to getting 57 before 2020. Thanks for watching.